I'm gonna show you guys how to get the best resin ocean art using my wave kit. Let's make this board right here. All right, so first we're gonna mix up B and I am using Promise Epoxy UV Art Resin. So I always mix B before A. Reason being is because B is thinner than A. I'm only doing this board, so I'm only mixing up an ounce and a half of resin. You can use code FLUIDWOOD for 15% off of any Promise Epoxy products, anything on their website. All right, let's mix this up, and then we're gonna separate this out into our little cups. So make sure you mix good, scraping your sides and the bottom of the cup. And get your cups out for your blues and your white. And we're gonna leave a little bit of clear in the big cup, okay? So separate your stuff out. Remember, you don't need a lot of white. And you are gonna mix the true white pigment into the clear resin, okay? So I'm adding a little bit more into the blue cups than I am the white one, which the first cup is the white one. And that's because you don't need a lot of white at all. Like this is honestly too much. I just like to have enough rather than not enough. Does that make sense? All right, so when you're mixing in the white pigment, you are just gonna add a little bit. And it's all gonna depend on how much resin you have in your cup. This one right here, I literally put like two drops in there. And you're gonna mix until you don't see any streaks. And if you look on your stick and it's opaque, then it is good enough. Remember, you can always add more, but you can never take it out, okay? All right, so I'm using Just Resin and Eye Candy Pigment Paste for my blues. You can choose whatever blues you want and i'm gonna just get these in there and yeah i used one popsicle stick i broke it in half and then broke the halves in half and that is how i am um mixing these up because these are like really small medicine cups i'll put everything that i use down in the description below i need to order some more of this blue because it is almost gone and i really like that color all right so now i'm getting some dark turquoise and you just need a touch of this that is all that's actually too much there we go and we're gonna get these blues mixed up and then we're going to pour them on our boards keep your cell magic close because as soon as you're done pushing your wave with your heat gun you are going to spray the cell magic on and yes the pigment alone creates cells and lacing crazy cells and lacing if you haven't tried my new formula and you tried the old formula this one is going to knock your freaking socks off do you hear me the new formula is crazy i am so freaking excited for it i cannot wait to show you what it does all right let's get these blues on here because i'm so excited all right, so I'm just getting the blues on here. Remember the orientation of your waves, okay? Whatever you like and whatever you want to see for this, uh, go for that, okay? What you like your water to look like, go for that. And if you're interested in, like, learning more about my color placements and things like... I got something on my board. If you're interested in learning about my color placements and like techniques more than what I'm explaining in my YouTube videos and stuff, I do have an Ocean e-course that you can check out. Um, if you have purchased the one that is up right now, just know that I am coming out with a new one. And if you purchased the old one, you will have access to the new one. Okay, so I'm just up. I'm like redoing it because I made that course uh, over a year and a half ago, I think. All right, so I'm going to take my finger and I am going to spread these colors out and around the sides of the board. And you can do this however you like. If you don't want your sides covered, I have a video for that. <laughs> and if you want your sides covered, I'm showing you how to do that right now. So I don't mind my colors mixing. I actually think that that makes it look more realistic and I use my finger to get a smooth line always make sure that you wear gloves this is a toxic substance I say that all the time so make your blues look however you want them to look and then when you're done we're gonna go ahead and hit it with a torch not a lot just a little bit and this is going to make it more movable and just pop any surface bubbles so that way it doesn't affect the white all right 
so now we're gonna get our little clear later on and like I said if you want more explanation for this um, how to make the white ride and just how to get the perfect ocean every single time and just to break down um, check out the e-courses otherwise just do what I do or do what you do and these pigments rock and it you'll just you'll probably get a great ocean anyways all right so we're laying our clear down and then we're gonna lay down our white and then we're gonna push our waves all right so I like to put a little bit of wave in the back I don't want a naked handle you can lay your ocean on the side of the board I actually had a reason of why I did this board like this um so yeah all right, so now I'm going to get the resin positioned in the cup the way I want it, and I'm going to lay my white down. All right, so I start my white on the edge of the board, and I go all the way across, and then I finish on the outside edge of the other side. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense to you guys. All right, so put your white down. I want another one right here. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. Uh, it's not touching my edge. I like my waves to go down the edge. There we go. All right. So, all right, torch. And let's blow this wave out. I'm using my Seek One heat gun. And it's on medium heat. And I'm doing it on low. And we're just going to blow. We're going to blow these waves back. And there's so many different techniques that you can blow these waves back. But in this video, I am just doing my fave. I like to just start from the front and work my way back. And you'll see me do this a lot. There, There's a lot of different ways to do waves, though. All right, so after I get my one side done, I'm just going to keep moving across the board. And as you can see, just the white alone creates cells and lacing. Like, hoo -hoo 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 -hoo. look at that. Oh, my goodness. She is so pretty. You can add another layer on your oceans. You know I loved depth and dimension in my resin pieces. I am known for my oceans. And as soon as you're done with that heat gun, you pop out that cell magic. Spray your board and watch the cells come up. Holy, look at that. All right, you guys. This is what you can do with my wave kit. Look at this. This thing is gorgeous. I'm going to link everything that I used up down in the description below. You can get my wave kit on my website. Check this out. All right, look at these. Look at these cells. Look at that lacing. That thing is pretty.